A local business is temporarily closed after a drunken driver crashed through its front window. NBC 15 Syrah Onward tells us how the owner of the East Johnson Street resale boutique is holding up after this traumatic incident. Directly in the window here, this is Lindsay Lino describes what it was like to see her business upshift swap shop after a drunk driver crashed her SUV into the storefront. The actual skid marks that are here now have faded a little bit, but they were very distinct skid marks that led right up. And you'll see that there's um, stuff that came from the car. I don't know if that's oil or some type of fluid. While a but site like this is heartbreaking to any business owner, Lino says she's grateful the losses and damage were all material. Her husband and an employee who were in the building during the crash were not injured. When I saw how bad it was, I realized that it could have been way worse than the fact that someone did drive through and no one sustained any in injuries. So I'm, I'm actually relieved that it was just damage to the building. Lino says after the whirlwind of the past 24 hours, she and her husband look forward to reopening their boutique. We're hoping it's only going to be boarded up for a few days so that we can get business back up and running. In Madison, Syra Onwar, NBC 15 News. That driver was arrested for an OWI and was booked into the Dane County Jail.